Praise the Lord. Welcome to another episode of Destiny Capsules. I think it's an opportunity to bring God's word to us, and I thank God for this privilege. This word is going to bring you into the place of your destiny, into the place of the plan that God has for you. Father, thank you for everyone that is listening right now. Let your spirit touch their hearts and let it bring it a sense of destiny and purpose in their lives in the name of jesus amen so today we are on episode four and we'll be talking about the purpose of living the purpose of living so what is the reason why we live what is the the underlining factor which make our existence necessary and so today we are going to be looking at the purpose for living and the first scripture which we are going to read is the book of Revelation chapter 4 and verse number 11. He's speaking, saying that you are worthy, O Lord, our God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created everything and it is for your pleasure that they exist and were created. So the Bible is telling us that God created everything and it is because of his pleasure. That means it is to bring God pleasure. That is why they exist and that is why they were created. So everything which God created was to bring him pleasure. The Bible speaks in the book of Genesis chapter 1 and it says that when God saw everything that he had made, it was good. He saw and he said that it was good. So God wanted to feel pleased by what he created. So God created us to bring him pleasure. So the Bible is telling us that for everything was created by him and it is for his pleasure that they are and were created. Praise the Lord. They are and were created. So we were created to please God. We were created to bring pleasure to God. We were created to bring delight to the heart of God. So, because man fell and into sin and was separated from God, it caused pain in the heart of God. It says in Genesis chapter 6, And it grieved the Lord in his heart that he had created man upon the earth. So, when man fell from God's place of bringing him pleasure, it grieved him at his heart. So, the underlying mission of our life was to please God, was to bring God pleasure, was to make God feel Please feel happy in his heart that he had created man. So the Bible also goes on to tell us that when we are redeemed in Christ, when we are saved by Christ, in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 15, the Bible tells us that we become like a sweet-smelling savour, a delight to God. We become like a perfume to the Lord. It says in 2 Corinthians 2, 15 from the New Living Translation, Our lives are a fragrance presented by Christ to God. But this fragrance is perceived differently by those being saved and by those perishing. So he said, our lives are a fragrance, a perfume presented by Christ to God. So the Father sent his Son to come and redeem us to him so that we can bring him pleasure. We can, we can be like a perfume to him. So the underlining purpose for living is to please God in our relationships, in our interactions in this world, in our business, in every area of our life, in our dressing, in our manner of conduct, in our speaking, in all manner of conversation. The underlying purpose of living is to bring pleasure to the heart of God. When God looks at what we are doing, whatever it is, is he pleased, is he happy that you are his son or his daughter? The Bible speaking in the book of First Thessalonians chapter 4, it says that finally, finally means conclusively, dear brothers and sisters, we urge you in the name of the Lord Jesus to live in a way that pleases God. As we have taught you, you are doing this already and we encourage you to do so more and more. We encourage you to do so more and more. So the Apostle Paul says that is beseeching, is urging the brethren to live in a way that pleases the Lord. And he said that and they have taught them how to please God. So it is 
it is also possible to be taught how to please the Lord. When we come into faith in Christ Jesus, the next thing we have to do is to learn how to walk with God, how to please God, how to become a fragrance, a perfume to Him. You know, when you please God, you experience more of His divine presence, tangibly experienced in your life. The Bible says that the Father is always with me. That's Jesus speaking. For I do those things that please Him. So there was an amount of divine presence which Jesus carried by virtue of Him pleasing the Father. So each and every one of us, if we must walk in the will of God, we must live in a purpose-driven life. We must live a life that is worth emulating, that can bring God to our generation. You see, when we please God, our generation can be able to find divinity through us. Divinity can be experienced through our lives, through our generation. Our generation can, can perceive the aromas of heaven through our lives. They can find the realities of God through us when we please the Father. So the, the Lord is bringing us a word today of purpose. A purposeful living is a life which is based on the foundation to please God. A life that the underlining factor is to please God. Hallelujah. So God is telling us today in Destiny Capsules that if we must accomplish our destiny, we must live a life that pleases Him. In all manner of conversation, in all areas of our life, in conduct, in speech, in purity, in relationships, whatever it is in, we must bear in mind that our purpose for living is to please the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord strengthen you and help you to please Him and strengthen you and give you grace to live a life that is pleasing to Him. And if you are listening to this capsule and you haven't yet come to Christ for Him to present you as a fragrance to, to God the Father, you haven't yet received Jesus into your heart, I will invite you to take that decision today and to pray with your heart. Just pray after me and say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. Forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart. I accept you as my Lord and as my Savior. Give me a new life. May I be pleasing to the Father. I live a life of purpose from today. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for listening to Destiny Capsule. God bless you.